We did TCG before and we talked about TCG only currently has Marvel and DC. HIP has everything. Um, and because you can enter the book, and, uh, as long as the publisher is in their, their system, you can enter their book. But here we have a Department of Truth, uh, number one, I don't know which printing it is, hopefully it comes up. I'll just pop the picture. See if it comes up. No, it doesn't come up. So I'm going to have to look and see which it is the sixth printing. So, Department of Truth, number one, category, comic book, modern age, series name. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go back up to the title. This is the other thing you can jump back and forth and I'm gonna put in sixth printing. Um, I would like that under the specifics that they, uh, that they would add that, uh, the printing, because we have so many extra printings these days. You know, uh, Department of Truth, number one, of course, sixth printing, but uh, the new Genie book, uh, it has, uh, I don't know, uh, fifth printings of number two or number three. It's, they're going to go into a lot of printings. So this is issue number one. Uh, it's an image book. So I could scroll down, but it's much easier for me to just do that. Image comes up in the search. Uh, genre, it's not a superhero book. Um, not really crime detective, it's more of a noir, but I'm gonna put it under um, I'm gonna put it under horror sci-fi. So probably could fit into the sci-fi genre. Now six printing, this is not a this is not a nine dollar book, so I do have to change that. And change this back to four dollars. Uh, it's held everything else, but again, I only have one of these, so I have to make sure that I change the quantity and back down to one, and we'll list that. And it's that, that simple. Now, um, it has been slowing us up because we've run into a couple that it could not find, which is kind of disappointing. And uh, as you can see, we didn't set up, uh, we didn't set it up. I just brought a, a box of comics that I have hidden in the way back that I know has got to get, wow, this one didn't show up either. Let's take another picture. Let's see if the picture is just not working out. Now let me bring it a little bit closer to the edge. This is a book that definitely should be in their system. Again, it didn't, it didn't come up. Now, I'm not going to type all that for this one. Um, I, I can tell you that I've, I had some, I had some really great luck. In, I did an entire short box in about an hour and 20 to 40 minutes while the store was open. And we weren't very busy, so I can't say like I was taking care of a ton of customers, but I did take care of some customers during it. Um, Sadly for the video, it didn't work as well as that. Uh, I don't know if it's just because these are all variant covers uh, that it, it, it's having a tough time finding them, that they're, they're not actually that new. They're over a year old. But um, the one thing I do want to also show you, if you have books bagged and boarded, you can put them in already bagged and boarded. Let's see, I want to see something. There, there we go. Here's one that I didn't have a price on. So we'll get a good photo of this one. Make sure you X that one, otherwise it'll just make another picture. Click that, a little Marvel Comics Weapon X series. Because I did even have luck with everything that was in a bag and a board. I didn't have to remove it to take the picture. 
There it is, perfect. Direct edition, it knows it's a direct edition. Um, comes up with the category, all the information. Uh, not really a main character because it's a flip book. The pricing on this, of course, I'm surprised that they don't have any guide value on this. Um, I'm gonna have to check what that is. I really thought that this would have a price on it because this series, the Weapon X series has been selling quite well, number 72 all the way up to 81 or 83. And I'm just gonna grab the price off one of my websites here what it's selling for so it's selling for about $15 um, I like to sell under market value um, so we'll be at 12 bucks you figure that you know with fees and everything I hopefully will make about 10 on it uh, and that's a fair number for me so the shipping's all right everything's all right the preference is are right, the quantity is right, list your item, and it automatically it tells you the crystal um, listing created, and it has your uh, listing ID is there. Um, I do believe when you go to um, my listings, so <clears throat> this is in the, in the dealer section, they have summary, which show you all the books uh, that have been ordered recently, messages, buying, selling, store, feedback, my account, um, and then it, it'll tell you what's open and what's closed. So these are all open and these are open-ended. Um, so I can then click on any one of these and it brings up what it looks like uh, to the seller. Um, obviously my pictures are probably one of the reasons We'll talk about in a minute about the sales. Um, because of the camera, uh, it takes the picture sideways, so I have to put the item sideways, but it makes my pictures very small. Um, what I'd also like to see on this page, oh, it does have it. So you have email, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. So I'm able to click the Twitter button and boom, it's gonna send, uh, I'll just throw a couple of hashtags on here. Comics. Uh, hashtag comic shop. And boom, I hit the tweet. And now anybody who's, who's on Twitter who is searching for Nova or comics will, bang, it'll show up, actually shows the picture. It's pretty nice. Um, so let's see if I can tab through. So we're back. So you can, I can also uh, share that to Facebook. So that's, that's a really nice feature, which I just learned it with you. So I haven't had a lot of time to use this uh, since the con, which was in December and then all the holidays and everything. But I am going to try to put um, my entire, everything that I have on TCG player, I'm able to download in a CSV and I'm hoping to be able to upload the CSV to HIP and then I'll be on both platforms. That is the, and I learned that, I had an interview with Steve Trovey at uh, Cyberspace Comics and I learned that from him. You, you've gotta be on as many platforms as you can be uh, so you can move these books. Um, I have been gaining a lot of uh, customers, uh, not subscribers, but I've been a lot of back bin customers, a lot of people who are looking for older books. Um, just another snippet. I know it doesn't really have anything to do with hip comics um, or hip comic. They don't have an S at the end. Um, and I really hate that mustache on the H, but <laughs> that's just a personal subjective thing. But again, we'll go back to the, the menu. Uh, home my collection, which is in beta right now. So you're gonna be able to, uh, if you're not a comic book store, you're gonna be able to keep your collection on there. A members area, um, watching your favorites, like what books you're looking at. Uh, 
your per keep track of your purchases and offers to the sellers and your bids keeps track of all that then your listings your offers from buyers your orders uh, store stats which I mean, I'll click on it. I'm not afraid to show you the last 30 days is zero because I had not been using hip comic. The other thing is, is that since I put that short box on, it's only like 200 comics, but there are 200 comics listed. I haven't made one sale. Um, they are mostly modern books. There were a few uh, high end stuff uh, that I peppered in there uh, just to, to kind of spice up but in the last 12 months, you can see that we, you know, at times we did, uh, you know, we did $240 in uh, May and February when we were really, um, we were doing some bigger books and we were also doing, uh, it was tied into eBay. So all the books we had on eBay were also on hip and our sales on hip obviously did, did well because of it. And again, you know, it, it is about the books that you're putting on there, right? If you wanna just grab whatever book is in the top 10 this week and throw it up on there, I'm sure you'll get a bunch of sales. I wanna get all of my inventory on there. Um, like I said, I wanna have as much of my inventory on there as I can get. Now, I can search my, my database here, but my customers can't search it. The great thing that TCG Player has, another reason why I want to use them also, is to create that kiosk. So a customer who doesn't like to dig the back bins, but wants to come in and just get, hey, I'm missing issue, blah, blah, blah. You know, Amazing Spider-Man 245, do you have it? For so many years, I'm like, man, you gotta go and check. I, you know, I'm buying, you know, 10, 15 long boxes. I don't really know what I have. I'm alphabetizing it numerically and putting it in. Maybe if I got it last week and I remember I put it in there, maybe I'll say, yeah, I do have it and I'll go get it. But for the most part, I won't know. The great thing about having it on the kiosk, I just if they don't want to type it in, I can just type it in. Uh, so the other thing is, is that when you do that, it creates, uh, it puts it in a cart. You're able to then uh, create a sales um, invoice uh, and it takes all your books out of uh, the inventory system. Another fantastic thing. Although beware, if you're going to be on multiple platforms, every time you make a comic book sale, you're going to have to make sure you go through and take them out manually. I'm sure there are ways to get them to not be manual, like you can write your own script to, to go back out and we'll be doing it manually. We don't have time or the knowledge to create our own script. But that's something that might be out there or something that you might be able to do. I like this system. It, it has, uh, like I went through some pros and cons. I didn't break it down into pros and cons, but through, through talking about it, there are some pros and cons. Um, you know, it's another platform to sell your books. Um, you're gonna give up a percentage of the company. That's what they deserve for creating all of uh, the applications and the GUI interface and how smooth and bringing people you know if you have your own website yeah you get hundred percent of the money uh, maybe not hundred percent because if they're using credit cards or whatever there's fees you have to pay on that but closer to hundred percent less than five percent you'll lose um, but you have to create the website uh, the selling platform for it and, and also find a way to put all your books up on it uh, but then also keep it updated. But the largest thing is to drive traffic to your website. And that, man, big, huge corporations are trying to figure out how to drive people to their website. And they're all vying for your customers. So it is way better to pay these people uh, to do that. Now there is a yearly fee. There is no yearly fee on TCG Player. We just pay a percentage. Um, I want to make that clear that on HIP, there is a yearly fee to have a store. There's a couple of different levels. Um, there is uh, regular standard, uh, and then there's premium. Let me see if I can't find that pricing for you. Here is the uh, store setup and the subscription for that. 
and it shows you the monthly. You can pay by the month or you can pay by the year. Everybody knows it's cheaper by the year. Um, so you have a starter pack. Um, it's a one year plan, uh, $3.95 a month, a $9.95 without up to 100 listings. So you can 100, for $3.95 a month, you can put 100, have a constant 100 listings up. Um, when you go up to $11.95, you get up to 10,000 listings. Now, I'm at the featured, as you can see, it's highlighted blue. Um, and that's 100,000 listings. Uh, I don't think it would, I think it'd take me longer than a year to get up to it, but there was, it shows the different, you have some other stuff available. On the 1195, you have the email support, um, lower transaction fees, and store directory uh, listings. So you get listed in the store directory. Uh, we get, uh, on the 29, you get priority support, lower transaction fees, featured directory listing, um, and basic market support. And then if I go premium uh, next year, um, it'll be a million listings, premium support, lower fees, premium directory listing, and premium market support. Uh, a few of those, I'm not sure what, you know, what that actually is, is worth. So uh, those premium, premium market support, I don't, I don't understand what the, they'd have to give me a better explanation. It's not clickable. Uh, to make the value $60 more a month. Uh, I mean, if you have a million books and you can get them all up on the system, why not? Um, I don't know how many dealers will have that out of a regular small comic shop. Uh, but like I said, decent platform. Um, I probably will be moving from the featured because I think I got a deal when I signed up a long time ago. Um, I think I got three months free and I think I got it at uh, a discount because I um, another dealer put me onto it. Actually, Cyberspace Comics uh, got me in. Uh, they were looking for other dealers, and so I got a little bit of deal when they were first opening up. But I think we'll be at the basic. I don't think I'll be running more than 10,000 comics at a time in there. I think at the TCG is what I'll put the primary collection on, and then I'll probably start to handpick stuff to move over to this this here. Um, so I might have ran a little long on this, uh, talking about all the ins and outs of what, how we'll be using it. You may use it completely different. Um, you may stay at the 395. You might have a million comics, so you might be at the 8995. Either way, it is a good uh, system to check out uh, and see if it'll work for you. Again, that's Hip Comic. So Tales from the Flipside family, listen, we really need you to comment. We need you to subscribe. We need you to like it. We need you to share it. Um, really help grow this channel. We'd really appreciate it. Um, anything you think I missed, you know, leave it in the comment. Uh, most importantly, read comics. Give some. Give a kid a comic that you're gonna that's not worth anything. Uh, something he'd like to read. You know, make a new comic book collector because that's just gonna make your collection more valuable. If you're opening a store, that's your primary job is to make readers, not collectors. They become collectors because they've read hundreds of books and now they have them. It's a, now a collection. Um, the speculation should be the smallest part of the game, not the largest part of the game. So open a comic shop.